Hi, we're going to demonstrate how to set up PN top to bottom without needing the use of a sterile field and doing everything all in one line. Um, to start off with, you wipe off your table with some Oxivir wipes and then just get a clean chuck so you have a clean surface to put your supplies. Hand hygiene and you're just going to put on some regular gloves. you're going to get all your supplies. If you had your PN and lipids up there, you're going to get your tubing, your filter, your trifuse. Um, I have a needleless connector to put over the third port that you would be using for a medline and just a saline flush. So the principle behind this is that you are not going to put anything back down. You're going to prime and go from top to bottom. So first thing you're going to do is get your lines primed. You can prime these into a clean like french fry container or um, you just don't want to prime them into the trash can or over the trash can or the sink where things could be dirty. nice thing about this too is you're doing one set at a time so you can it's kind of a nice double check to make sure that you have the correct lipids and the correct PN especially when you're doing multiples and there's lots of bags hanging up there. So the next thing you're going to do is open your other components, your filters and your trifuse. that you don't have to touch this multiple times is to prime the medline cap first and you're just opening this up maintaining the sterility of the needleless connector inside the package same as you would for doing a cap change using attached to your filter and then you can just prime that portion you really only have to kind of prime it up to the Y part and then you're going to clamp that off cover it with the glue cap and now you're ready to just prime the rest of your fluids through so you can start if this were your lipids and you're going to hook that right up there. This does away with the needing extra caps. You don't have to touch the line as many times as if you were putting caps on or needleless connectors on and having to flush it multiple times. And you're going to prime that up. Again, 
and just until you are just seeing this, but you would just need to go until you're somewhere between here and there until you get to your last fluid. that all the way through. You can watch through the filter to make sure that the PN has gone all the way to the end. And that is it. And if it's drippy at the end of the cap, you can take that cap off and replace it with one of the dark blue alcohol caps. And that's it. And nothing has touched the surface once you've opened it. Done.